If you haven't already, go and check out me and my fiance's gaming channel. The link will be in the description. Hey guys, it's Fantasia and welcome to another mod review. So this is the sleepover event mod by Kawaii Stacy, and I saw this and got very, very excited because there has been like a sleepover kind of event in the past by Brit Pinky Sims, but um I don't know if it's like updated and I know like someone has updated her mods, um, but I just am really excited about there being like a totally new one and kind of like seeing a different take on it and seeing how Kawaii Stacy's works because I love all of her mods. I just, I don't know something about them. I feel like a lot of people feel this way. Something about her mods just like feel really good. I don't know why. The way they're done, I just like really enjoy them all. Um, like there's so many of her mods that I feel like are mods that really make a difference in my gameplay and I enjoy having them in there and they're fun to play with and um, I use them the most. So anyways, um, basically this mod allows your sims to throw sleepovers at their house or a friend's house. So that's pretty cool that you can also throw it at a friend's house. We're going to be doing it like at our own sims house, but I love how you can do it at a friend's house as well. So your sim can go sleep over at another sims house. Love it. <laughs> and even on generic lots for storytellers. Oh, that's even cooler because you guys know I love my storytelling. So it says the minimum age requirement is toddler. If you are throwing a sleepover for toddlers, you will need to use an adult or a teen slash adult to plan the event for the toddler, but you can make the toddler the host. So you guys, little toddlers can have sleepovers, which is really perfect for my seasons let's play actually, because my toddler has some toddler friends. So it is best to start this event after 6 p.m. So we will be doing that. Dress code is pajamas, uh, party requirements is none, and you just need base game. So <laughs> we're going to go and test this out right now. I love this photo, by the way. So cute. These sims are adorable. So anyways, let's just jump right into game and test this out. Okay, so the family I have here is just enjoying the nice day, eating some dinner. Um, this house and the family is just random sims from the gallery. I was just like scrolling through because I felt like I didn't have a family that I didn't use yet for video, like mod videos. Um, so I decided to grab them from the gallery. So I didn't make any of these sims or the house. Um, I did change a little bit. I added like custom skin and eyelashes and stuff. Um, and they have a nice table outside. So they're eating. And um, basically the two kiddos... Um, um, Maya and Andrea, they have these two friends named, um, uh, I don't know why it's not capital. Again, I didn't make these Sims. <laughs> so, or wait, is this Maya and then this is Maya? I think so. Sorry if I'm saying it right. That's just how or wrong. I'm just going to say it like that. I know this is Maya, but you know, <laughs> or is it Mia? You see, it could be either one. Okay. We'll call you Maya and we'll call you Mia. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> and then there's Lila and yeah, Andrea, like we said, so these are their friends. And actually, I don't know why she's only close with them. We're going to fix that because I want her to be close to them. But anyways, um, they are asking their parents if they can have a sleepover tonight, even though it's a Sunday and they have school in the morning. All well, all well. <laughs> so it's recommended to start after 6 p.m. So they're having some dinner and then after that, they're going to have their sleepover. So um, we're just going to go onto the calendar. Oh, wait, I think an adult has to do it. We're going to go onto the calendar and just plan it here. So we're going to add an event and then we're going to do... Where's sleepover? Here we go. Sleepover. So we're going to do a gold event, of course. So throw a sleepover at your house and invite all your friends or family. So you can even have a family. That's so cute. Okay. So can we have both of them be the host? Yup. So it's going to be both of their sleepovers. And I thought it'd be best if we invite over two kids instead of like a million, just to kind of like, you know, not get all, all over the place and try to like do all the stuff we can. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna do it at their house. Um, and we're gonna do seven o'clock. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and plan it. E All right. So now they're just gonna wait and then I'm gonna also like up her relationship with them while we wait. Okay. So everyone is like finishing up eating and this is about to start like right now. So let's go ahead and start. Yee. Okay, so we have the main goal is host uh, or host socialize with guests, have Sims watch TV at the same time, have Sims chatting at the same time, and tell a story. Oh, wait, those are super cute. Okay, and they're in, oh my gosh, she's in her pajamas already. She hasn't, I don't, wait, she's not in her pajamas, but she should change into them 
If not, we'll just tell her to, but she's cleaning some dishes. Let's put this away. Are you going to change? There we go. She's in her PJs. So what I did, um, just to kind of make it seem like more of a sleepover, um, how long does this last? 13 hours, you guys. Okay, amazing. <laughs> so um, this is their bedroom, and obviously this is the two girls' bed, and then I just put these two, like, blow-up mattresses um, to kind of, like, seem like they set up beds for them there you know makes sense <laughs> so hopefully they actually sleep there i'm actually curious how that works like are they gonna sleep where they should where are they we got you over here did they like go upstairs okay so here's one of the girls here she's coming so they don't come right away but that's totally okay um because we got lots of time 13 hours which i love because obviously then it makes sense why you should start it after 6 p.m and then it'll go through the night so that's perfect where's her sister i don't know well, let's just start doing stuff. That's totally cool. <laughs> so let's go ahead. Oh, they're so cute. Okay. Um, can we maybe be in a group? Cause I feel like that's going to make things a little bit easier. So actions add to group. Actually, can we, um, go ahead and like form group? I think that'd be better. <laughs> let's disband and then do that again. So form group and let's have them get in a group. And then whenever the other sister comes, hopefully she really comes because if not, sad day. <laughs> so let's have them all go in the bedroom. You know, they're going to have a little girl's night in the bedroom and just chat and everything like that. So hopefully the other girl's on her way. Fingers crossed. Um, so let's have you come over here. And, oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, we need to tell a story. Yeah, nobody wants to stay in the room. It's cool. Well, okay. So, you know, because the other um, sister's not here, let's just watch TV together like we're supposed to. So, we're supposed to have Sims watch TV at the same time. So, let's do that. I really, like, don't understand where she is. Are we just going to have a sleepover with one girl? Which, I mean, is totally cool. <laughs> because, like, sometimes, you know, you just have one friend come over to sleep um, over for the night. But it would have been fun <laughs> if both of them were here. Um, okay, we also, we need to do the main goal. We need to try to focus on that. So, um, let's chat. We got to get that up because we got to do that 12 times. Um, bright and day. Let's go ahead and in these about candy. Um, see now she has no one to talk to. So that's kind of the down. I mean, she can still talk to them, <laughs> but like it would have been nice. If, you know what I mean? If there was just another girl here. Um, I don't know what's up with that, but I don't think that has to do with the mod. I think like, you know, sometimes Sims just don't come over. Like she didn't want to come. I don't know. <laughs> like I don't see her anywhere and, um, I'm pretty sure she just, she's like, nah, I don't want to come. I don't really want to sleep over. Maybe she gets homesick. So it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so let's just cut, try to complete as much as we can just with her and at least we have two kids in our household um you come over here and talk that would be cute so let's have you come over here and maybe let's bake he's gonna make them some brownies so he's gonna do that for their little sleep overnight random trash <laughs> Alrighty. oh he doesn't like it let's go ahead and throw that out um where's the trash can Okay, so we're gonna have to make sure these girls just don't get tired, but like this is pretty cute. Like honestly, it's pretty cute. Um, where are you going? No way. Come over here. Don't sleep yet. I'm gonna put that up a little bit. They're having a sleepover night. Nobody be going to sleep yet. We're gonna enjoy the night. We're gonna pull an all-nighter maybe. I don't know. <laughs> so let's, where are you going? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Um, let's do an inside joke. Oh, she wanted to dance. That's so cute. Uh, where are you going? She still wants to sleep. Like, mm -mm, no way. So you're going to tell her a joke. And then, we, yeah, we still have to tell a story, which is somewhere in here. I don't know where it is. Okay, so we just finished the main goal. Awesome. And we just did it tell jokes. So now, um, let's have them all eat some brownies together. So let's grab a serving together. We're doing pretty well, actually. Um, they still haven't done tell a story. <laughs> it's not popping up. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. Um, she's on the monkey bars. You come and grab a serving as well. Is she like suddenly not in the group or something? I have no idea. But we're gonna enjoy some brownies why aren't you eating those hopefully it still works um it should 
because yeah there we go perfect all right so we're doing good i'm so glad because we still have like so much time they're gonna be sleeping though for half of it so like you know you like uh, yeah <laughs> they obviously wouldn't stay up for the seven more hours um it would be great if they go to sleep like on the eight hour mark so they get the eight hours of sleep they wake up and then they either go to school or go home um so that would be like pretty convenient um but yeah we need to just tell a story and i don't know why it's not coming up um let's see usually there's like tell a story right well it's not here and i don't know why um unless i keep passing it but yeah i don't know <laughs> there's sure a secret like i don't know talk about toys talk about school um and then there's just like tell a group story i don't understand it's kind of weird um i've never had this happen i don't get it um what about like if you just talk to your sister maybe it'll come up i don't know okay you guys so i told a goofy story and it worked so i'm very happy now we can also thank a guest for coming so let's go ahead and do that um and then they can head to bed are they going to bed now i mean okay <laughs> i mean i guess i can just let them go to bed i don't see thank guests for coming either so weird is that weird to you guys um, I mean, you could tell a goofy story, so, like, there's a solution. Okay, you guys, so this was something I wanted to test. I wanted to see if she would actually go to sleep, and she did not. So, I mean, it's not over yet, but it's, like, 6 in the morning, and she still has not slept. Uh, you woke up. I'm not sure why, but I'm gonna have them go back to sleep. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, they, they just... The, the people sleeping over don't seem to go to sleep. I mean, there's only one um, sim here, but she don't want to go to sleep. She wants to play on the computer. So I think that was also a thing with the previous sleepover mod that I tried out too, I'm pretty sure. So um, it'd be cool maybe if there was like some sort of thing for the parents to like tell them to go to sleep. I don't know. I don't know how that would work though. I feel like maybe that would like not really work out <laughs> but overall this mod it definitely works uh we didn't do the thank you guest for coming up but i'm gonna wait until this finishes here so we have two more hours well almost three and i feel like it was pretty fun like if you have like five kids come over that would be super fun um you could just like have a great time with all of them they could watch tv together they could talk together they could just like have dessert play in the room and i feel like if you have a lot of kids it's gonna be more crazy that's why i thought maybe it was best to test it with just two and then only one comes what <laughs> but i think with five it would like give it that like slumber party feel but if you just want like a sleepover then of course just like invite one or two okay you guys so i just selected for them to take a vacation day from school because just because this is just for the review but it does actually go on for an hour um after school so i feel like this would be best on the weekend which would make most sense anyway so i feel like that's totally fine oh <laughs> but yeah so this just continues on i'm pretty sure the other girl's still here i don't know where unless she left for school did it did it say that she left i'm not sure but if it was a weekend she should stay but she may have left because of school um i don't know although i can't click on her so then she should be here i don't know i have no idea okay so sleepover is complete and we got the silver medal uh, oh she's up here <laughs> she's on the parents bed okay i don't know why you don't sleep in your blow-up mattress so she did finally go to sleep wow um and she's still here and now i don't know how long she'll be here since she's sleeping but yeah so that's pretty cool uh, oh never mind in the household inventory so we should have something in here i'm not sure what we have but let's see um oh we got a couch okay <laughs> so you guys i think this is pretty cool i thought this was the, i like the way it's done i think it I think it would be super fun for kids and toddlers and it would also it's also great that you can have it be at different lots it doesn't have to just be at your home lot so that's pretty cool the only thing is like the sims don't sleep when you want them to sleep but i mean what are you gonna do like if you're not controlling them that's just gonna happen regardless that happens no matter what like even if you just invite a sim to stay the night you know they don't always sleep <laughs> unless you woohoo and then they go to sleep but as far as like friends sleeping over or kids having a friend over they don't really like sleep when you want them to so i mean that's not really 
a mod issue. That's just how the game is. <laughs> so overall, I think this mod works super well and I don't see any issues with it. No glitches or anything like that. I definitely recommend it if you want your sims to have some more storytelling and just have, I don't know, more events for them to do because I feel like events always add to storytelling and a sleepover is a great one for that. Um, so yeah, this was a lot of fun. I actually really want to use this in my seasons. That's why I think it'd be perfect. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you guys, oh, and I'll have the link down below to the mod, of course. Oh my God, almost forgot. I mean, you guys usually know that, but I'd like to just make sure you guys know it's right down below at the very top of the description. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys all so, so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. You gotta listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can get from you Boy, I don't need that much, need that much